How would you hear a proof of the demolition of the bridge? Curious? Yeah. Can you approve the demolition of the bridge? Yeah. What's, what, my question is, what safety uh, have you done over the past five years to improve the intersection uh, under the bridge? It's, to me, it looks the same over the last ten years. What has been done? Has there been paint, signs, uh, under any alternatives? over the last five years to, to get this project done? Uh, there was a proposal or project LABOT looked at to improve the roadway under the bridge, like installing a signal. But then uh, this project came and it was approved and we're working on the plan. And actually it's not cost effective to do major improvement when we know we have to take it out. So you're right, nothing is being done significantly. Probably signs being replaced or maintained, but more than that, the yield is still there, the stop sign is still there. Uh, so nothing significant is being done. So our safety didn't matter at all. Okay, can we, we're going to keep going. It's just ridiculous. One more. Now, I keep hearing about safety being an issue and the ratings and how to be a bridge. But my question is, if this concern, our state is concerned, all these years that people have been getting contractions there, has there been a stop of stop, stop signal lights or more lights to put on? It seems to me, the sort of a historic bridge over these simple safety issues doesn't make any sense. These years, to do nothing is negligent. Completely negligent. People have been hurt or killed. And you just think, oh, it's going to be destroyed anyway. It's not doing anything about it. It doesn't make any sense. The bridge is functionally obsolete. Uh, that's based on the width of the bridge. The railing standard doesn't meet the current standard. That doesn't mean it's not safe to, 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 be, to have the railing there. But the railing doesn't meet the current standard. But for who? Uh, also, also, the width of the bridge is going to be of um, issues. The vertical clearance underneath the bridge is going to be an issue. It's a combination of all these dimensions of the existing bridge uh, will put the bridge uh, in the category of functionally obsolete. Yeah. Same. 
I don't have the trust account for semi truck. Who does? No, they wouldn't be allowed. I mean, you, you can the trust account for semi truck. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. From major or secondary highway. Yes. I mean, there. Right now, because of the bridge, they can't go because of the bridge. But later on, they will. Yes, I mean, we can't prohibit semi from using secondary and major highway. I don't have any information on projected someone. Uh, I wasn't aware that there was an issue. I mean, uh, is that your concern? Existing, you have too many someone? It's a health concern. Right now, right now, I'm going to do that. The bridge is obsolete, it can be used. We're now there, so that's going to do that. Once it's destroyed, no more bridge, no more high clearance uh, issue, no more width, no more uh, weight issue. Now the West can be used to there. There's no more issue of the height or weight. See the difference? Well, that's that's a guess or hypothesis. I mean, there is no study to show that. Yeah. Okay. We haven't done a study. Maybe you need to. I wasn't aware that this is, uh, there is an issue regarding something. We brought up a long time ago. We put up a lot of Facebook brought it up. I only heard others have brought up the past two at other meetings and never have been answered. So we're concerned about this not answering our questions again and again and again. Same question. Just so you know, we're uh, recording, audio recording this. We're, I'm, my, me, my staff are currently going to take it back and
with my questions. Thank you very much. You can't prove that, though. You can't guarantee that. There's no guarantee on that, what you said. Thank you, Joe. Good evening, everybody. My name is Anthony Manzano. Thank you for coming out. I just have a question that I've been sitting here thinking about, and regarding the construction or, or demolition of the bridge, I'm aware that it used to be used uh, 100 years ago or so for the railways. So I'm, I'm imagining inside those concrete columns and the bridge, like the faces that are going to be demolishing it, there must be a lot of rebar, metal, steel. And I'd kind of like to know if the community can take advantage of that because there's a recycling opportunity. But perhaps the city can say we will gather that material, gather that uh, debris, the metal, the steel, the rebar, and use it as an advantage and bring three, five, or ten thousand dollars back to the park. It's a recycling of the material. That's, that's a great idea. I think to uh, work with the contractor. If you look into it, it's a great beneficial improvement for the community. Both two own companies, cement companies, uh, father and dad. Uh, I lived in the area since 71 and uh, pretty much close to the bridge. And I just know that some people die in different types of accidents because of the dangers of it. And my concern is just that the finished product is safer than it's there now.
Thank you so much.